Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for November 23rd to the 29th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. If you guys would like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all my information is in the description box below. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. All right, my darlings, I hope you're having a beautiful morning or evening wherever you are. Please remember that these are general messages. They're not going to resonate with everyone. So you can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are as a person. So feel free to cross watch for more information. So as you guys know, I have changed a couple of things when it comes to my reading. So if it's clearer to you, it's easier to understand, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below or you can do both so I can continue to do it this way. So let's jump right in here. What's going on my Libra's romantic love life? For November 23rd to the 29th. What's going on my Libra's romantic love life for November 23rd? To the 29th, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Libra's romantic love life? For November 23rd to the 29th, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Libra's romantic love life from November 23rd to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, this is going to be for the November 23rd, November 24th, November 25th, November 26th, November 27th, November 28th, November 29th. And you guys can feel free to come back and check out how it played out for you day to day and let me know in the comments below. All right, and this is going to be what your lesson or your challenge is for this week. This is what's influencing everything. This is what's causing it. And this is your love interest. Now, this can be the person you turn on this video for. It doesn't have to be somebody that you're with, okay? This is your advice, and this is the outcome. And as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading, and I'm layering more cards on top of this. Stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. All right, so we got the Queen of Pentacles energy. There's this patient energy. For the Queen of Pentacles, I can be saying somebody's being very nurturing and very caring there with the Queen of Pentacles energy. It could also be saying that somebody's trying to be patient because they're like, all right, what should I do here? What's going to be the best bet for me in the long-term basis? Yeah, there's a lot of thinking, thinking, thinking going on here. The thinker card's coming up, which is causing some challenges here with the snake card energy. All right, or lack of flexibility because there's just all this thinking and contemplating happening here. All right, so on the 24th, it looks like you are gaining that confidence and that courage and that strength. And you're being loyal to your heart here. This for me is almost like the soulmate card. It's like a soulmate connection. There's a choice being made with the heart there. And there's a sense of control or um, a sense of a nurturing kind of energy with the bear card energy. Because the bear card energy for me is like almost like the queen of pentacles energy. It's a very nurturing, it's a very caring energy. Um, or for some of you, remember the bear card can represent a mother or a fatherly figure, okay? And it looks like you're gaining your courage and your strength when it comes to the situation. Possibly for some of you, maybe you're dealing with a mother or father that may be affecting your romantic love life in some way, and you're being loyal to your heart and you're, being, uh, you're having strength and courage. For others of you, you're just gaining that strength. Yep, you're just gaining that strength to be loyal to your heart here, to make a choice with your heart, okay? on the 25th oh wow you guys are going to fulfill your wishes here on this day and there is this spiritual connection here it's something deeper than you think when it comes to this romance look at that there's a deeper romance than you think here this moon card represents romance this deeper inner knowing for me is like a spiritual kind of connection and nine of cups represents wishes being fulfilled around that Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's cross our fingers <laughs> for the whole reading to be good. Okay. Oh no. As I cross my fingers, I get the devil card energy. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. 
All right, but you know, when you, you're dealing with a, a, a love interest and, and possibly when you get involved with a new situation, you can have strong attachments and that could also bring out the devil card energy too. So let's see how this plays out. Okay, well, I see what's going on. Somebody's obsessing about you. Because look at that. You see the take a nap card? And then we got the devil card energy there. Let's clarify this further. Yep, see the sun card energy? Yep. So the sun and the Lenormand can be saying, yes, there's a victory here. Okay? The sun card energy could be saying something needs to be revealed here. I feel like with the devil card energy, it's just a strong attachment. And somebody's like really thinking about you, dreaming about you. Because it's like the four of swords energy. If you look at their guidebook with the take a nap card, it's like the four of swords energy. It's like a lot of thinking, contemplating, a lot of, a lot of thinking, of maybe obsessive thinking about um, this, that you make them happy with the sun card energy. Okay. With the sun there, it just, it just brightens everything up. So we can't look at the devil in that, in that way. All right. So on the 27th, we got the four of cups energy. So four of cups is like, there's a sense of, I'm missing an opportunity here. There's a sense of change. And it's like I'm isolated and separated here with the Tower Card energy. So because there's some isolation and separation going on, uh, this person is really feeling like they're missing opportunity because there's a sense of some kind of change, some kind of change in the wind. I mean, that's what I feel like when I see this card. And the Tower Card could be because of something corporate or something that's structured and organized in a certain way. Okay. Yeah, we also got the four card energy, which represents structure. All right, on the 28th, it looks like there's a waiting around for the right opportunity here. There is a sense of peace and calm because of a fresh start and a new opportunity with a child card energy. Okay. So I feel like there is a sense of, okay, there's a, there's something deeper here than I realize. There's a lot of obsession. Um, I think this person, you're really on their mind. They're really obsessing about you. They're really thinking about you, that you make them happy. They feel like they're missing an opportunity here and they have this sense of isolation from you. They're waiting for that opportunity to have peace and have a fresh start, new opportunity with the child card energy. Okay, let's see. So there you are. You're looking really attractive there on that day. And yeah, you have in the victory that this is a new life here for you. And there's talking and speaking. Communication is taking place here. Okay, so that's really good. So there's a sense of, all right, my new life. Oh my God, there's all this attraction here. This, this beautiful energy, right? This attractive energy with the Empress, which she represents abundance. So you're having that sense of abundance on that day because there's this communication happening here. It's definitely a sense of a victory. That's what I feel like from that card. Okay, so we see that there were some challenges because of something to do with control and romance. There was a sense of happiness or a sense of a victory. There was a sense of uh, isolation or separation or things that need to be structured and organized in a certain way but there was a restart here because of talking and speaking all right so what is your lesson don't feel defeated this week with the five of swords energy go the distance all right and know that there's something spiritual here with a cross card energy that's pretty clear cut i feel all right so what's influencing all this there's a person that's like doing a lot of deep, heavy soul searching here with the hermit card energy. That's like the hermit card energy for me. And there is a sense of mending and healing, right? There's a, a sense of wanting to heal the relationship because of house and family. Well, we see that we have the queen of pentacles energy. She can represent a motherly energy. We have the bear card energy. It can be a mother or father. We have the empress again. She's the major arcana and she is the mother of the major arcana. And so... Seeing as though we have family here and there's a mending of relationship and somebody's doing some deep, heavy soul searching, I could see how some of you may be dealing with that, like a motherly energy that may have was, you know, infringing upon your romantic love life here uh, and having to wait for an opportunity and seeming like there's a lack of flexibility and a lot of thinking, contemplating here going on. And you're having to gain the strength and the courage here. But for others of you, it's just more or less a lot of deep, heavy soul searching about mending and healing the situation when it comes to your romantic love life. And it's to do with house and family and stability and stableness or something to do close to home. Okay. So this is the person that you turn on this video for. It doesn't have to be the person you're with. Okay. So this is your love interest. <laughs> they find you very sexy and very attractive with that Queen of Wands energy. That's pretty straightforward. 
Yeah, they wanna they wanna go for it. You see that? They wanna go for it right there. Oh my god, for some of you, they wanna give you a ring. Oh my goodness. Okay, so your love interest is finding you very sexy, very attractive, and they want to take a leap of faith. They want to take a risk and offer you a commitment, engagement, or marriage. Ring card energy. Wow. Okay. And three plus seven, three plus six is seven, eight, nine. You fulfill their wishes there. There's a lot of chemistry. They feel like they have a lot of chemistry with you and attraction. Okay. So your advice, speak your truth. Because remember, if we see here, it starts to work out because communication happens at the end of the week, right? Speak your truth, Queen of Swords energy. Do it in an organized, structured way, building blocks card. And it's about emotions here. So being real with, you, with, with your emotions here. So or organizing, structuring things, or not letting your emotions run away with you. That could be the fish card energy. Because the, the fish card is like a flow of emotions. So speaking your truth, but doing it in an organized, structured way and not uh, allowing your emotions to run away with you. Or um, maybe even let your emotions fly there. Let me just uh, look at the numbers here. 2 plus 8 is 9, 10. Something needs to be completed to be reset. Okay, so what's going on with them? They have a sense that you're leaving them out in the cold, Five of Pentacles energy, and they're like, are they going to walk away from me? Eight of Cups energy. Because of this sense of control. There's that Emperor card energy. That's, that's that Bear card energy. Sense of control. So this person's like, I'm being left out in the cold. I have a sense of loss. I feel like they're going to walk away from me and I need to gain control over the situation, right? So we come here, they're doing some deep, heavy soul searching and they're trying to mend the situation when it comes to house and family. You just have to speak your truth in an organized, structured way when it comes to emotions. They were the fish cart energy and we come back here. What is your challenge? Don't feel defeated. Go the distance. You can move past these challenges. You can win this situation. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, my beautiful Libras. I love you guys so much. If you feel like it's easier to follow along, hit that thumbs up button, okay? Or let me know in the comments below where you can do both. I'll see you guys another day or two. Thank you to all my members and have a great rest of your week.